Scott is a wonderful uh, English teacher, and he's a part of the poetry critique group that I belong to, which is this like such a blessing. Scott Earhart has published his first collection of poetry, One of Us is Real, in 2016. Um, he's appeared in the Little Patuxent Review, the Tidal Basin Review, and Lines, plus star, Lines and Stars. He supervises two journals for young writers at Magruder High School, um, The Mill, and the John Hopkins Center for Talented Youths. His current project is a erga dot or ergotic, say it. Ergotic? <laughs> ergotic, right, ergotic hybrid of poetry um, and escape room, which he will likely never publish and end up losing his sanity like Captain the Hop. Thank you. This is from this piece here. It's a wild one. So <laughs> I, uh, I, it, I took it and kind of paired it up with uh, some, some work that I had done that wasn't very far along, but it was about uh, my grandmother dying. And she spoke about these people that were in the room before she died. And it was very strange, but she was, the woman talked nonstop. Like she's talked forever in her 890 some years. And she talked a lot and talked, started talking about these, these people that were hanging around the, the room, the, like the hospice room. So I was like, you know what this looks like? It's these, these strange people that would hang around a hospice room. So that's uh, what this is about. Uh, it's called The Morning You Died. Someone lingered half in static outside your hospice room. Three shadows peeking from the folds of her overcoat, X'd out bodies, ventilation, speech. Under the bed, they excavated wooden race cars, penny whistles, five and dime trinkets, electrical cords. You hollered at them, kicked your legs, compression bandage, the putties your father wore. They turned to you, their burlap faces, featureless. That night, the sycamore outside your window upended. A nurse reached out and righted it, unwrapped your legs in endless ribbons, the shadows hunched in the corner, rolling a pitted cat's eye shooter across the linoleum, the texture of sound, the imperfections of its path in the dark. You hung a gold dress on your dancer frame, 1919, the year or your age, striding up the curved walk of Gatsby's house, whose name was Remus, Lit windows like the brass band was the sun, a yellow photograph only materialized in stories. The morning you died, what confused you most was how someone could leave a dog unleashed on the ball field, how many pipes travel the throat and where, the sound of wooden wheels, glass marbles, so you drove the smallest shadow, whose name was Rose, around the field to the bakery, hands still flowered from her previous shift, a girl becoming flower. Your mother scolded you for wasting gasoline. A summer storm in the Arctic basement on Mulberry Street. The emergency radio garbled and rattled cut crystal decanters. You trembled on the avocado vinyl couch, though it was off-white, asking someone, is it over? A rolling shudder, the thunder, is it over? A soft kind of receding. An evening garden with music that magnifies the heart, distended at the edges and upside down. A dissipation of clouds, bones settling like sediment in whatever year you believe. <laughs>